Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney, you can call me Quartz. And one more time in Spanish. Hola, bienvenido a mi canal. Mi nombre es Courtney, puedes llamarme Quartz. <laughs> and welcome to today's episode of Trailer Reactions slash watching trailers together. We are taking a look at Spanish director Paco Plaza's prequel to his highly successful film, Veronica. I watched Veronica close to when it was released on Netflix in Canada. So probably 2018, 2019. However, this movie was one of those horror movies that shook me to my core simply for the fact that it was based on a true story. Yes, I am that easy. But as someone who's wildly obsessed with the occult and all things unknown and hidden, I have taken a personal gander into Ouija boards and things of such. So this movie, Veronica, stuck with me. Also because it was so well done. So now we have Paco Plaza returning to direct his prequel to Veronica, Hermana Muerte. Sister Death. Not what it is, but um, cinema in general seems to be very hyped on scary nuns. But who doesn't love a deadly nun? I mean, the church is scary enough as is. <laughs> For today's video, I thought we would react to the new Sister Death Hermana Muerte trailer. Before we get into any of the details surrounding Sister Death and Veronica, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Yo hablo un poquito español, pero most of my videos are in English. Like most of my videos are in English, all of them, every single one. <laughs> that in mind, if you're if you happen to be viewing from Spain, I love it. I love you. Please stick around. With that being said, let's jump right into the Sister Death trailer reaction. Ooh. There's something about the church that is already so terrifying. Probably years ago. Oh my god, it's like it's like that chair emoji that everyone's using to laugh. Maybe the demon's just laughing. <laughs> Beautiful Maria. cinematography. Sin pecado concebida. Perdóname, padre, por qué pecado. Te escucho. Acabo de llegar nueva aquí como maestra. No sé si estoy preparada. Cuando escribí ese nombre, calla. ¿Qué? Nada. They know something. Tú. Para mí es Ana María. La niña santa. Oh my god, creepy drawings from children. It's giving cult. She's like punishing herself. No hay que tocar sus dibujos. Si escribe tu nombre, estás maldita. Cursed. Oh my god. Oh no. Nope. Can this little girl see demons too? I know the nun has powers. Okay, this is like intense. A lot. Lots of blood and lots of light. I'm digging it. That's never a good sign. Y si, y si solo vi lo que quería ver. Ya verás como todo irá bien. Another demon nun. Okay. 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 The Netflix go off. <laughs> okay then. Okay then. Let's talk about it. Okay, first impressions. Cinematically beautifully shot, right? Gorgeous. Reminding me of something. I can't put my finger on it right now, but the red and the white. Oh, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It could be a nod to something, but I might be missing it. Let me know. It's so funny because the Nun, the Nun 2 trailer, like, is recommended right beside it. So it's just so funny to see them. Here, just look. It's like, it's like, it's a trend or something. I don't know. People love scary nuns. But my first, my first impression from that trailer is that it's going to be like a demon posing as a nun. Again, like similar to the nun story from the Conjuring universe. I don't know. Director of Veronica, Paco Plaza, brings us Sister Death. He did collaborate with a different writer for this um, prequel, whose name I'm not going to try and butcher. Jorge Guerrica Echevarria. Ger Guerre. Echevarria. Jorge Guerrica Echevarria. Jorge Guerrica Echevarria. Guerra Chai. 
Guerra Chai Chevaria. Guerra Chai Chevaria. Jorge Guerrica Chevaria. No. <laughs> Different writer from the original film Veronica. I believe Paco Plaza also wrote Veronica in collaboration with someone. Veronica, written by Paco Plaza, Fernando Navarro, and Coral Cruz. So we had a trio of writers. The movie was amazing, so I'm really glad to see that they came in with a prequel to kind of extend the story in the universe for us. According to my research, this is the origin story for a blind nun who appears in the film Veronica. So post-war Spain, our nun Narcisa, played by Arya Bedmar, arrives at a convent to teach this now girl's school when peculiar happenings begin to occur that inevitably unravel the horrific secrets that haunt the inhabitants. If you guys remember that, um, I remember seeing this in the in the movie rental store, not even Blockbuster, because my town was so small. The the franchise Paco Plaza is most known for is Record Rec. There was a few films made, and um, the first one was highly rated. It's basically like found footage, but make it live news coverage and zombies. It has been added to my mo my movie watch list <laughs> for sure this Halloween season. Speaking of, if you're looking for horror movies to watch, I did make a Halloween movie hit list last year. Um, so check out that video. Some of the stuff that I have on that list, I didn't even watch myself yet. So I'm going to go back and rewatch some of those for sure. But check it out if you're looking for spooky season movie recommendations. Paco Plaza's most recent title being La Abuela, um, another horror film following a fashion model who returns home to take care of her ailing grandmother. That sounds creepy enough as is. Following the success of Veronica, which was one of the most horrifying films on Netflix. At one point, it was considered that widely. Sister Death has big shoes to fill following Veronica, it does. Like, I'm a little bit skeptical after watching that trailer. It spooked audiences, which means it thrilled the critics. The movie amassed numerous accolades, including seven Goya nominations, which is commonly referred to as Spain's version of the Academy Awards. So it did really well. Yes, I know, film culture exists outside the United States. We often forget that. So with that being said, let's take a look at the Veronica trailer so you can decide for yourself if this movie is just as horrifying as they say or if it's just a cheap thrill. Let's take a look. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna watch it again. Oh, chills. So good. Inspired by true events. En las culturas primitivas se creía que lo que ocurría en el cielo Era un oh, reflejo de lo que ocurría okay, en la ciudad. So like por eso se creía gone. también que durante los eclipses the la oscuridad go. reinaba por encima de la luz. Wow. Cerro los ojos. ¿Hay alguien aquí con nosotras? ¿Quieres hablar con alguna de nosotras? Ah, lo has movido tú. And it's set in the 90s, so it really captures that 90s horror too. Oh, this movie's so good. Lo que habéis hecho aquí es muy peligroso. Quiere hacernos daño. ¿Pero quién? No lo sé. Oh, I remember that last scene so vividly. Porque yo de lo que no te despides se queda contigo. Oh, I'm so lucky. She's not alone. Veronica. I love Veronica. Veronica Stan, okay? Set in 1991 Madrid, we follow a teenage girl attempting to protect her siblings from evil forces after using a Ouija board to attempt to bring back their deceased father. And the film is loosely based on the case of Estefania Guterres. La Raz Lazaro, who mysteriously died after using a Ouija board to communicate with a classmate's late boyfriend. The Vallecas case is named after the Madrid neighborhood where an apartment um, on Lewis Street experienced a repeated sequence of paranormal phenomenon requiring even police intervention. It is one of the most famous cases among lovers of occult cases in Spain. And it has gone down in history for being the first case of paranormal phenomena to be documented in an official police report. Of course, the events in the film are very different 
than what actually occurred. It's very much glamorized in the light of Hollywood. Glamour, if you can even say that. The protagonist of the, the Vallecas case is Estefania Gutierrez Lazaro, a Madrid-born teenager who lived with her family in the apartment. She begins to be interested in the occult, and one day at school she takes part in a spiritual evocation with a Ouija board together with two classmates. A teacher found them and tore the Ouija board apart, and the girls said that that day they saw smoke emanating from the glass of the Ouija board and Estefania inhaled that smoke. From that moment, the adolescents began to suffer from insomnia, hallucinations, epileptic seizures. Estefania described strange human forms that came to visit her at night with no face, wearing a dark cloak, asking her to come with them. The final peak of the attacks on July 13th, 1991, Estefania violently attacked her sister, Mary Marianne who ended up on the floor with foam coming out of her mouth. The day after, on July 14th, Estefania had a serious attack of catalepsy and she is taken to the hospital in a state of a coma and she died that night. The autopsy fails to explain the reasons of death, mentioning sudden and suspicious death. So that is quickly in a nutshell, the roots of Veronica. It's so well written in the film, the way that they make you feel like you're losing your mind with her. A really great article, um, sort of going over the whole story of the paranormal case itself. If you'd like to take a read, I will link that in the description below. Veronica um, has been on Netflix and will remain on Netflix, so you can check it out there. And its prequel, Sister Death, um, will be coming out October 27th. So if you're a Swifty like me, slap on your subtitles, go and watch Sister Death, and then play Taylor's version 1989 <laughs> to cheer yourself back up before going to bed. I am really excited for this. I love nonlinear storytelling, and I hope that they do a sequel to Veronica in whatever capacity they can. Maybe they can touch on the happenings after once the family um, unfortunately lost Veronica. Maybe they can sort of see what the family experienced in the home. There's definitely somewhere the story can go. But I also love that we can watch it in whatever order we want and it still makes sense. Very similar to the Conjuring universe. I think the Conjuring has kind of been pioneering that in the horror genre. That is Sister Death and Veronica. In the meantime, you can go and check out Paco Plaza's recording franchise, Rec, Rec franchise, and watch Veronica because it is seriously so well done. Go check out my horror movie recommendations from last Halloween. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Gracias por ver este video. Gracias por ver este video. This is not how I learn Spanish, by the way. This is just a tool for me because it's a Spanish movie, all right, okay? Check out foreign films, they're great. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next spooky video. This officially is the launch of my spooky season Halloween themed channel content. So I would love to have you and feel free to drop me some of your horror movie recommendations below. Love you so much, bye.